Hello friends, today we are going to learn a program to calculate sum of series of numbers. And program says that calculate the sum of series of number, the length of the series in memory location 4200H. So before execution, we will consider let's say 4200 is 03. So it is length of series. Means what? We need to check three consecutive memory locations. And further program says that and the series begins from memory location 4201H. So our actual series start from 4201H. And since length was 3, that's why we will check three consecutive memory location 4201, 4202 and 4203. And we need to perform the sum of this series. So in this series, three memory locations are there and we need to perform addition of those three memory locations. Now, further program says that consider the sum to be 16 bit number, store the sum at memory location 4300 and 4301H. So, let's perform hexadecimal addition first. So, 2 plus 0 is 2, and that 2 plus 1 is 3. So, we got 3. Now, F plus 1. Now, see here in hexadecimal number system, after 9, we get A, B, c d e f and after f we get one zero so f plus one is going to be one zero so it is going to be zero one now our answer is going to be 16 bit number so this zero three will be called as sum and this one will be called as carry so what we need to do, we need to store the answer at 4300 and 4301. So we are expecting after the execution on 4300, we will store the sum. So this 03 is sum and on 4301, this location is 4301, we are expecting carry to be 01, carry to be 01. Now how we are going to do this? For this, we will say that our sum is going to get stored inside the accumulator. And let's say carry we are going to store in any particular register. Let's say in D register. So remember this. What we are expecting? We are expecting our sum on 4300H. And initially we will store it in A register. And carry to get stored on 4301H. And initially we will store it in D register. So let's write program for it. So these are before execution content on 420003 is there and other numbers are also given. Then first we will clear accumulator because we want to add the numbers inside the accumulator and therefore we want our accumulator to be zero and we make our accumulator zero by writing XRAA. XRA stand for XOR accumulator with accumulator. And we know that when we XOR same binary inputs, its output becomes zero. So when we take XOR of content of accumulator with content of accumulator means we are taking XOR of same numbers. Therefore, our accumulator is going to be zero. So because of this instruction, our accumulator will become zero zero H. Why we are making accumulator zero? Because we want our sum inside the accumulator. Then Again, because of MOV D, comma A, the content of A register will get copied inside the D and D register will also become 00 H. Content of A was 0 and that 0 got copied inside the D register and D has become 0. Why we have made D is equal to 0? Because we want our carry inside the D register. Now, our first number is on 4200 H. Therefore, we will initialize the HL pair by writing LXI H comma 4200 H. Because of this, HL pair will become 4200. LXI stand for load register pair immediate. And which register pair? HL register pair. So, what we will transfer in HL register pair, we will transfer data 4200 H. So, we have initialized the memory pointer. Then, what we will do? We will take the value of M inside the C. 
okay m means memory so here actually what is going to happen the content of content of hl will get copied inside the c register okay we want counter as 03 now content of hl was 4200 and its content was 03 so 03 will get copied inside the c register and because of this instruction our c register is going to be 03h now we got this answer 03 inside the c register now our next location is 4201 so from 4200 if i want to go to 4201 then i will increment hl pair by 1 therefore i have written instruction inxh inx stand for increment x stand for register pair so which register pair hl pair so before execution of hl was 4200 so after execution our hl pair will become 4201h now so we have pointed 4201 now because of add m what will happen the content of content of hl will get added inside the accumulator and its answer is going to get stored at accumulator now let's check what was before execution content of accumulator so we see that before execution accumulator was 00, zero. so 00, zero plus the content of hl is now 4201 and its content is f2h so 00 plus f2 will happen and our answer is going to be f2h only f2h only now once this addition gets over we will check whether carry is generated or not by writing jnc if carry is not generated then we will skip this instruction and we will go ahead and every time when carry gets generated we will increment d register by 1 because we kept d register to note down the carries so in this instruction carry is not generated in this addition carry is not generated that's why we will skip this inr d instruction and we will directly come over here and we will decrement the counter by 1 why we are decrementing counter by 1 because out of these three additions one addition is over that's why we will decrement our counter by 1 and this time our counter will become c will become initially c was 03 now c will become 02h the content of c register will become 02h and continuously we will check whether this counter has become 0 or not by writing instruction jnz jump if no 0 if this counter is not 0 jump and go back and where we will go back we will go back and we will increment the hl pair means we will go to the next memory location and consecutively we will add those consecutive memory location one after the another so at the end inside the accumulator we will get our sum value and inside d register we will get our carry value so by writing sta we will store the value of accumulator on 4300h so accumulator content will get copied on 4300h and we know that our accumulator was holding sum so sum will get stored at 4300h now we know that d register was kept reserved for storing carry so what we will do we want to store carry on 4300 4301 but directly we cannot transfer it that's why initially we will take that carry value inside the accumulator therefore accumulator will take the value of carry and this carry value we will store on 4300h so 4301h will become the value of carry and finally we will terminate our program by writing hlt thank you